Now in the past, I've already taken the motor out and I've taken the gear cover off. I've taken the whole back half here. I've taken that off. I've opened up both differentials and kind of re-greased them. So the front of the vehicle, I have not taken apart at all. Now this truck has had about six or seven batteries put through it. No part on it has broken yet. And I'm just going to go ahead and replace the plastic parts that I believe would fail in the future and go ahead and put them with true Traxxas aluminum parts. Now, did a little research online. The, the aluminum parts you would find on eBay, they're going to break. They're a whole lot cheaper, but the casting is not made correctly. So the, the parts you see on eBay, you might find for like 15 bucks, where these parts here are like 30. So the difference is, I believe these are like CNC, because if you look, you, you can kind of see the CNC marking inside of that. You see that? So that looks like it was actually cut out on a machine. Um, <clears throat> they rate these, I believe at 70, 75 aluminum where others are 60, 61 or something like that. Or I, I just don't know, but um, online they had talked about this being stronger and then uh, other reviews, other uh, videos they actually showed people, put them on, the bearings didn't fit in the hubs right, uh, just all sorts of things. So if you're gonna buy parts, go ahead and just spend the money and buy the quality parts. This entire truck, can be taken apart and assembled with these four tools. A seven millimeter wrench, a 564th Allen, and a 332nd Allen, and then any wrench plier of your choosing. Let's go ahead and get into this thing. So I've got the front <clears throat> suspension and front differential and shock tower completely taken off. Um, Ahead. there's the bumper all the screws keep everything nice and organized uh, everything kind of goes back and has its place everything that came from this side those screws go there everything goes from this side screws go there and you have your left axle and your left shock your right axle and your right shock so now we're gonna go ahead and start dismantling this and go ahead and open up the parts the first part is going to be the steering adapter here and you have your screws here. So basically the important reason for why we're gonna update this is because this plastic piece here, when it turns, it actually slowly over time is gonna wear away that plastic and then it's gonna make your uh, steering have a little bit of play in it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, install this aluminum one. So here we have the front left uh, turnbuckle and caster. This is the plastic and this will be the aluminum one that's gonna get replaced with. This is the front differential housing with the aluminum green shock tower mount. And this will be the right turnbuckle caster. And um, I need to go into my garage and go get some grease so I can go ahead and fill that back up with grease. I wiped all the old grease out. And I'm going to go ahead and now I've got the bearings moved over. And I'm going to take the screws out of this and assemble this piece. All right, here we are. We've got both aluminum turnbuckles completely assembled, and we have the differential filled with grease. Now all there is to do is reassemble the front end. So here we are with the rear assembly. We've got the brass knuckles for the rear, new bearings, green aluminum shock tower mount, and the other knuckle here. And we're gonna go ahead and replace the 14 tooth pinion with a 17 tooth pinion. Just gotta slide it all back together. Tracks is fully assembled, ready to go outside for some high-speed runs. Let's see how fast she goes. <laughs> 